Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking crispy garlic pork. So let's start cooking. We are now going to marinate our pork. I have with me over here approximately 220 grams of pork loin, sliced very thinly like this. We're going to add in one whole bob of garlic, grated. It might seem a lot, but trust me, this is really important because we want the pork to be full of garlicky taste. Add in one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of water, and also a few dashes of white pepper, crushed white pepper. Mix this up well. And we're going to let this marinate for at least half an hour. I'll see you back in a while. Now I'm going to cook the pork with sweet potato flour. If you do not have sweet potato flour, you can always use corn flour. No problem at all. all right, so this is what we do. Open it up. Just put it on the flour like this. Make sure you coat every part of this. We really want this to be crispy, so this step is pretty crucial. Continue with the rest. And after we are done with this, we will let this rest for 10 minutes to 15 minutes so that the flour will stay on the pork. I'll show you how it looks like in a while. While waiting for the pork to be ready, we will heat up some oil and fry our garlic first. We don't need the oil to be super hot, right? If you can see over here, just bubbles slowly rising up. This will be good enough. All right, we just want to brown our garlic a little bit and infuse the flavor into the oil. So one whole bowl of garlic, just lightly smash it up like this, wash it of course, then just put it in. We'll fry this until it's a light golden brown, then we'll remove this from heat. Leave the skin intact because this will add extra flavor to the oil. Now I'm using medium low heat or low heat. We want to get the flavor out and we don't want to burn this. So this will take a couple of minutes. So when the color turns a little golden brown like this, or light golden brown, we'll remove this from heat and set this aside. Now we'll turn up the heat to medium and we'll proceed to fry our pork. This is how the pork looks like. Shake off any excess flour if there is. Make sure you let them rest for a while so that the flour can stick on the pork like this. So we'll put this in. Of course, if you do not want to deep fry this, you can always air fry, no problem. If the heat is a bit high, you can just always reduce it a little bit. We'll be doing a double fry on this, so this will be extra crispy. Do not move them around, just put it in. We want the crust to form on the pork. These are cut very thinly, so I can put them all in, no problem. We will not affect the heat of the oil. The first fry that we want to do is to fry them to about 80% done. And the double fry is to cook them through and of course make them super crispy. They're starting to harden up, I can feel it on my chopsticks. Once the pork has hardened up, then we can turn it to the other side. We want to achieve a light golden brown this time round. And the second fry will actually really crisp up the whole pork. This is really, really good. So for those that are already light golden brown like this, we will remove them from the heat and set them aside. Now I'll turn the heat up to medium high and wait for the oil to be heated up before I do the double fry. In the meanwhile, what you can do is just clear all this excess flour. This step is optional, but if you can, just remove it so that there won't be any burn beads on your pork. Now to see whether the oil is hot enough or not, of course you can see smoke rising, that means the oil is hot enough, but another way is to use a satay stick, put it in, and rapidly bubbles are forming. So this is very hot now. We'll add in our pork now, put everything in. All right, and of course our garlic. Now what we want to do is to achieve a very beautiful golden brown on the pork, and after this is done, this dish is really, really good. All right, so it will turn very beautiful golden brown like this in a very short while. So just be on the standby to readily scoop all this up. So look at how beautiful the pork looks. Okay, we'll remove this from here. And it's time to have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Very crispy. The garlic taste is fantastic. This is really good. I think this is excellent with a meal or just with beer. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.